the odds against student X solving the business statistics problem are 8 is to 6. Let us read again. The odds against student X solving the business statistics problem are 8 is to 6. That means 8 is the number of favorable cases for failure of X and 6 is the number of cases favorable to the success of X. That means out of 14, in 8 cases, A is expected to be a failure. And out of that 14, X is expected to be successfully 6 cases. And the odds in favor of Y, solving the same problem are 14 is to 16. 16. The odds in favor of Y, that means out of 14 plus 16, 30 cases, 14 are cases in favor of Y's success and 16 are the cases in favor of Y's failure. Number 1. What is the probability that the problem will be solved if they both try? Number 2. What is the probability that both working independently of each other solve the problem? This is case of intersection. We will have to solve this problem first and then we can give the answer of problem number 1. And 3. What is the probability that neither of them solves the problem? That means neither X nor Y solves the problem or both fail to solve the problem. That is nothing but it is X complement intersection Y complement. Yes, we will go through the De Morgan's rule. But first of all, the odds against X the odds against X eight is to sixteen. Eight is to sixteen. Now probability X can solve the problem. Let us take it P of X. So that will not be eight upon fourteen, but it will be. Sorry, that will not be 8 upon 14, but it will be 6 upon 14. Why? Okay, if the wordings are the odds against X are so and so, the first number stands for cases favorable to failure of X, not success of X. And probability X cannot solve the problem. That is P of X complement, so that will be 8 by 14. The first number, if the sentence or wording says the odds, odds again so and so, first number is for complement event and then second number is for success or the original event. Now the wordings are the odds in favor of Y. The odds in favor of Y. Are 14 is to 16. Instead of against, now the wordings are favor of Y. So the first number remains in favor of success and the second number goes against success or for complement event. Say probability of Y can solve the problem. Take sin y, p of y equals to 14 divided by 30. Probability that y cannot solve the problem. That is p of y complement 16 by 30. Let us take simplification. This can be 3 by 7 and this can be 4 by 7. Similarly, this can be 7 by 15 and this can be 8 by 15. First of all, the work involves two different persons X and Y. So, we should believe that X and Y work independently or even in the question number 2. It is given that what is the probability that both working independently of each other. That means X 
एंड वाई आर और वर इंडिपेंडेंटली दैट मीन्स इवेंट्स एक्स एंड वाई आर इंडिपेंडेंट दैट अगेन मीन्स इवेंट एक्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड वाई कॉम्प्लीमेंट आर ऑल्सो इंडिपेंडेंट एंड वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ एनी टू इंडिपेंड एनी टू इवेंट्स बींग इंडिपेंडेंट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द टू इवेंट्स इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ द टू रिस्पेक्टिव प्रोबेबिलिटीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस टेक आंसर नंबर टू आंसर नंबर टू वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट बोथ वर्किंग इंडिपेंडेंटली ऑफ इच अदर सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम probability both solve the problem that means p of x intersection y that means p of x into p of y that means p of x is 3 by 7 into p of y is 7 by 15 So ultimately, it is three by fifteen over one by five. Now we can solve the first case. What is the probability that the problem will be solved? the problem will be or is solved that means at least one of x and y solves the problem and further interpretations can be either only x solves the problem or only y solves the problem or both solve the problem and we know that this is the case of union p of x union y and according to general law of addition of probabilities p of x union y is p of x plus p of y minus p of x intersection y p of x 3 by 7 Plus p of y, seven by fifteen. Minus p of x intersection y is either three by fifteen or one by five. Yes. LCM of seven, fifteen, and five. Fifteen into seven is one hundred five, and five is also the factor of one hundred five. So we can take LCM of one hundred five. 105 divided by 7 that means 15 15 into 3 45 plus 105 divided by 15 means 7 7 into 7 49 minus 105 divided by 5 21 into 1 21 45 plus 49 it is 94 minus 21 73 so the answer is 73 divided by 105 the third case is what is the probability that neither of them solves the problem the third case neither of them solves the problem that means x cannot solve the problem and y cannot solve the problem p of a complement intersection y complement according to de morgan's rule it is p of x union y all complement that means 1 minus p of x union y That means one minus seventy three by one hundred five. 
105 into 1, 105 minus 73, it is 32 by 105. 